Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing USCIS and case filings of immigrant and non-immigrant spousal, and, well, in any kind of visa case for that matter. But I just this is just a general video regarding USCIS and people ask me, mostly clients, why do I file paper filings? Well, long story short is USCIS can lose stuff. And the other reason we file paper filings and the other reason we use checks is we like to track them as best we can. Now, I'm not saying USCIS is going out of its way to be negligent, nor am I saying USCIS is particularly prone to losing things. But the fact is, in the course of my career, which is spanning at this point 14 years, I have seen USCIS lose cases half a dozen times, maybe a little more than that. It does happen. Now, sometimes they sort of lose them and refine them. You know, they'll, they'll say, well, we don't have that, and then it sort of pops up on their system. But sometimes they just out and out lose the case. They, they, they just totally lose it. And especially with, with respect to paper checks, one of the reasons it's a good idea to still use those, and I have used this before, is they have to process the check. And if they've taken payment on the check, then they have the case. They've gotten it. They've just lost it internally. So again, there's a reason, there's sort of a method to my madness. I know a lot of folks, they sort of say, well, why don't you do things digitally? A lot easier to lose things digitally. I like paper filings, and I have another video I'm making contemporaneously with this one where I go into that in more detail. But this video specifically, yes, USCIS from time to time does lose whole cases. I've also frankly seen them lose things that are in a case file. So we'll get an RFE on something we already provided. And lo and behold, they'll say, hey, we want to see this document. Well, we gave them that already and they, you know, there was some kind of issue with that. So long story short, USCIS can lose things. It does happen from time to time. It's not overly frequent, but it does happen. And for this reason, it may be a good idea to contact a legal professional in order to gain some insight and guidance into how best to file so as to mitigate the risk of that occurrence.